Hey, this is Peter at Craft, and I'm super excited to share some insights about our recent major update around task management, because we hope this is going to be a game changer for any craft user. And you know what? We have a lot of things to cover, so let me get right into it. Uh, as you see, uh, we have a new task view or task page, you may say, in uh, the Craft application, which will contain three important sections. One of them is the inbox. The inbox allows you to dump in any new task, to capture quickly something. Some of you are familiar with the get things done methodology. So when you want to capture any random task throughout your day, you will be able to do so by just dropping a new task into your inbox. We also have, of course, all your documents with any task or to-do item uh, listed. So basically, whenever you created uh, a task within a document, the document will appear in this section. Now, some of you have some large projects and super important tasks that you manage on a daily basis. So you might want to pin those documents under your task queue so you can reach them super quickly and manage the tasks. But I will show um, the details a little bit later on. And let's get started with my week and, and day. So let me plan ahead a few important things I want to accomplish today or this week. First of all, there will be a super important ice hockey game in two weeks and I really need to get into better shape. So I will need to go for a run. I don't know when, I need to schedule that a bit later on. The bottom line, I want to have it in my inbox. I also need to call the doctor just to consult with him about my shoulder. Nothing serious, but it's important. I also need to consult with uh, Rob and Alexa, my colleagues, um, about other content that we want to publish uh, this week, maybe a few Help Center article related videos. Um, oops, consult with Rob and Alexa. I also, I'm not sure when, and of course, I will need to consult with Abner as well about thumbnail creation. So these are super important tasks for this week for me. And oh, actually, uh, I think today is the best day to go for run. So what I'm going to do, I will simply schedule this task for today. I'm selecting this date and the small date badge appears here. And I also know already when I want to call my doctor. I'm probably going to take care of this on Wednesday. And about the consultations, I will think about those. Uh, let's see how this video goes anyways, right? Um, so this is the inbox. And you can, of course, if you, let's say I went for a run, uh, I mark it as done, it will disappear. But you can always enable completed tasks and maybe... Uh, put it back into your uh, task list and you can actually drag around these tasks if you prefer another order. Um, so we really hope the inbox will help you to capture quickly the tasks and organize them later or schedule them later. Actually, you can also set a deadline, but for now, the deadlines are not um, making any notifications, it's not triggering anything right now, but uh, it's it's an additional information that you can add to your test. So I want to go for a run um, today and latest 25th, but I really hope I will make it today. Okay, so moving forward about the documents and the opportunities we offer for you for more effortless uh, task management. So when you click on any document that appears here, you will actually see um, a task list uh, from the doc from the task that you have on the document. And as you see, I already had this preparation uh, about task introduction. And one of the tasks I wanted to complete is, th uh, is think about the test for the whole week. I did that um, and I will just uh, resolve this task and see, oh, actually I set start dates and deadlines as well. And you know what? I'm just realizing that I will be working with this document a lot. So why not? Uh, so I will just pin this document. And I can also manage from here all the open tasks. And that's that's perfect. And now let's see what additional benefit these date badges uh, can have. So if you go into your calendar view, Oh yeah, we did some update here as well to support your tasks. You already see that uh, some of the tasks that I added in under my task view in the inbox will appear in uh, under the date, 
where uh, the date is has been set. So going for a run is scheduled for today. So I will have this list of tasks. And actually I have this daily note with a task as well. And that task has uh, also a scheduled day. So that's why we see two tasks listed for today. Uh, one of them is publishing the video about tasks that I'm doing right now, and the other is running. So any task in any document that has a scheduled date will appear under your calendar um, at the date of schedule, right? So for tomorrow, in tomorrow's daily note, I actually added a super important task for myself, checking all feedback about tasks. It's scheduled for tomorrow. That's why it appears here as well. If you don't want to have this task appear in a separate task list, what you can do is simply click on the schedule date and clear schedule. As you see, it won't appear anymore on your calendar. So going back to tasks, let's see how am I progressing with this video. I will just click again to the document. I don't even need to open it, though I could. And you know what? Let's open the doc and see uh, how's it going. Oh, I had to dress up the docs, meaning that I had to style them. That's just my lingo. And I did that as well, so that's great. I also mentioned the GTD methodology, and oh, I haven't moved any tasks from Inbox to specific documents, so let's do that right now. So I will go back to my tasks, and now that I know when I want to run, uh, I, I probably won't forget this, so I want to have this task uh, in, a in, a, in a project that maybe is more relevant, for for physical activities so i can just go ahead and scroll down and see the relevant documents of course i could just search for it and there it is i have a document about physical activities i want this test to be added there so i just uh, moved it there and if you see the document immediately appeared here this document did not contain any tasks previously that's why we did not see it but now that i moved the task it will appear under the documents with tasks I can also enable daily notes. So if you have any task in any daily note, uh, those will appear here as well. So for example, I have uh, 16 tasks for Thursday scheduled. It's actually a grocery list. Uh, it will appear here as well, and I can go ahead and finish them. But if you feel that this is a super important document for yourself, let's pin this as well. So I will just add this and it will appear in the pinned uh, section. And uh, you can do the same with maybe this video concept document. You can just drag it and boom, I have three documents pinned. And I can of course go always into the document itself and uh, take care of my tasks. So I hope you see uh, some benefits for your workflows already. Uh, and please let us know if you discovered a new way to manage your test in a more efficient way. Um, and please let us know if we can do anything better. So hope you like this and happy crafting.